You know when you're ready. Audio, audio, audio. Check, check, check. We good? Ah, cool. Okay. The 3D printing at Maker Fair wouldn't be complete without Ultimaker, and I've got Luis here with Ultimaker. How you going, man? Hi, great, great. This this is incredible. Ultimaker always shows well with an incredible booth. Tell me, what's what's new for Ultimaker this year? Well, so we're highlighting the two plus upgrades. Ultimaker has always honored the whole platform, so all of the upgrades, usually backwards compatible. We still have the Ultimaker Original Plus. The twos recently got uh, a two plus extended, which upgrades the feeder and the hot end and adds to reliability. And then we try and show different uses of our printer in the booth. So you'll see models from various designers around the country and crazy projects like this. Yeah, speaking of crazy projects, what the heck is this? You've got you've got an ulti maker yep. that's taken apart, it's got holes cut in it, yep. and it's building something super tall. Right. That's incredible. Okay. okay, Luis, what the heck is this? All right, so here's the history. There's uh, one of our community members, Yoris, uh, was involved with the original uh, Fab Lab in Proto Space where the Ultimaker was born. He's used the Ultimaker as his platform for all of his projects. One of his projects involved making a life-size elephant for an advertising agency, agency that was doing... Um, I, I remember that. Yeah, remember ivory that. poaching and all that. Well, it was so successful, people wanted to buy it, so he created a product. So it flips the Ultimaker, flips the extruder, you install a Tinker Gnome firmware, and you still get the same X and Y, but then you get unlimited Z. So it's called a Z Unlimited. <laughs> so we're printing large Greek columns. And it's just, a, it's just a great piece that talks about the open platform. You're able to tinker with all of it. And then we added our own little logo, so. <laughs> of course, yeah. you've got the robot with an upside down robot. Exactly, yeah, it's a lot of fun. The, uh, so this is supported by Ultimaker. This is a project that's not just supported, but showcased. You're actually showing this off. Is, does this lend itself towards the openness of Ultimaker and what it's trying to do in the community? Right. So he's able to do this because all the plans are out there. That it's this is he, a platform for him. So anyone's able to tinker and play and modify this for your own use. So we've got someone else's firmware plugged into someone else's hardware. We made it freestanding for the show, but you can keep going on Limited Z. So wow. It's a lot of fun. I, I remember seeing the project of the uh, the elephant for the ivory poaching awareness, and I thought it was incredible. It was it was interesting how tall they were able to build things. I'm wondering, is this the height it was built at, or are there taller Z Unlimited projects out there? He went three meters, so there's another section, and then uh, the Z started on the floor. And he's got this ingenious uh, support method where he's got these arms out to the side. He embeds threads through the print and then ties them off, and that keeps it from wobbling. So he's a great, great, great engineer. He's an artist, but he comes up with these great, simple solutions. So he's always a great uh, example of what you can do. That, okay. Honestly, that's amazing. I just thought of that, having embedded thread in the Z axis as it goes up, and then you just snip and clean them off. Exactly, yep, or pulls right out. So that's just incredible. Uh, well, Luis, let me tell you, if you had your own personal Z Unlimited at home with unlimited filament, what would you print? Oh, man. Uh, Probably a life-size person. My son. Uh, we go. We go through a lot of filament, and this this thing's hollow. So probably my son. Probably print my son. Why not? That's a sweet answer, Luis. Good job, man. Well, Luis, thank you very much for your time. I know you're busy. I hope Maker Fair is very successful, and I wish you nothing but the best in the future. Let's seal it with a high five. All right. Epic. Great.